Brazilian gangsters impose curfew as President Bolsonaro calls coronavirus a little flu. Technically, Brazilian gangster are called militia while drug dealers are just drug dealers. We're not here to die, gangster. For people who want to know a bit more about the situation in Brazil, here's a summary. After his disastrous speech two nights ago, Bolsonaro was heavily criticized by state governors and even his vice president said that Bolsonaro expressed himself perhaps not in the best way and that the position of the government is that people should stay home. In his speech, Bolsonaro also contradicted previous statements from Luiz Henrique Mandetta, the Minister of Health, who said our health system would collapse by mid-April and people should stay home to flatten the curve. Governors from all Brazilian states minus one had a meeting without the president where they discussed potential measures during this period. They delivered a letter asking for more financial support to our workforce and self-employed people. They still support the idea that people should stay home. In brief, politicians, out of their personal interest, make no mistake, this is opportunism and not anything else in most cases, have decided to steer the will themselves due to the inaction of our president. Sao Paulo State Governor Joao Doria even went as far as calling Bolsonaro's speech regrettable and they had an intense argument during a video conference. Doria was told by Bolsonaro that he wouldn't have been elected if not for Bolsonaro's voting base. Basically, Bolsonaro is pretty much isolated and every measure he's taking is not helping the country, so now the governors have decided to do something themselves. What will probably happen is that due to quarantine and companies closing doors, the economy will go to crap and Bolsonaro will blame the governors, trying again to change public opinion and save face. Imagine having to rely on drug lords to slow the spread of the virus. Makes you think what kind of fucking moron the Brazilian president is. This is the weirdest, most surreal timeline ever possible. As we often say here, the organized crime is very organized even more organized than the government. Jair Bolsonaro is a little man. Removed. Guys the journalist who wrote this piece is my best friend. She's been doubting her capabilities for months. She reports on topics that aren't as mainstream but they're really interesting points of view. When I told her the number of upvotes this received and how big a deal it is, she was so happy. I'm so glad. This has made my heart full I hope she believes in herself as much as I do. And thank you all for reading her piece. Edit, she's in literal tears, she's going to read the recommendations being posted on the comment thread, smiley f A curfew that lasts just overnight won't help much, but a stay in place order would. It was not really clear in this article which it is. He's shooting himself and his political party in the foot so hard. When you have the criminals usurping the government to enact logical and protective practices you're... I don't even fucking know anymore, that's how Al Capone maintained power for so long. There are videos on the internet of Brazilian gangsters beheading women. Yeah they are really great people. Carrot 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 slash s. Yeah cause you can't have you customers dying from a pandemic. Coronavirus is probably affecting their bottom dollar. Wouldn't it be easier for the gangsters to just get rid of the president? Hard to sell drugs or extort poor people or tax favela services if your customers are all dead. I've watched Tropa de Elite and its sequel. Don't get me wrong. Part of me really wants to cheer on these gangsters for trying to do something good. The problem is. Actually, there are two problems. 1. It's still wrong to beat the shit out of people superscript 1 and terrorize a community superscript too. Driving around in packs and putting your hands on people makes you the disease vector superscript 3, dips hits. Underscore 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 underscore. Superscript 1 yes, there are exceptions to this. No, you are out past 8 p.m. is not one of them, even during a deadly pandemic. Superscript 2 no exceptions to this. Superscript 3 unless, of course they're planning on shooting people. Maybe I don't want to be the bad guy anymore, Brazilian gangsters. Edit, let me preface this by saying that people so willing to agree to what is basically an authoritarian regime under an armed militia, besides lacking any forethought, 
also clearly show they have never lived anywhere where these bastards operate. Here are your heroes, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash tim backslash underscore lopez hashtag murder, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash tim underscore lopez hashtag murder. How can people think this is good? It might be a necessary evil, but it's in no way good, you're speaking of murderers. No amount of social conscience could ever change the fact that they beat, kill, explore children, rob and torture in the most gruesome ways, and a lot of victims are civilians. But hey, if you think a brutal beating would be the right response for stepping outside of your home regardless of context, maybe you deserve to experience it instead of speaking about it online. Kid in a Brazilian pod racer, now this is libertarianism. Imagine having a head of state so stupid that your society's criminals feel forced to become bylaw officers. Being in a gang sounds difficult for social distancing. I mean, by definition there is a gang of you. Thanks, Satan. This guy is the same type of idiot as Trump. When I read this article, a mantra I've been telling others in conversation for years came to mind, when the government doesn't take care of its citizens, someone else will. The consequences of that can be quite significant. This sounds like the perfect opportunity for the drug dealers. If the people they victimize are sick or caring for sick people, they will have no money or effort for drugs. If the drug dealers can keep everyone inside, what else would they have to do but drugs? Imagine thinking these people are saints, when really they just see an opportunity to continue preying on their communities, and perhaps even locking in new addicts for the rest of their lives. You know you're a shit leader when the fucking mafia is doing a better job at protecting your citizens than you are. Well if the president want. Of course they are, their addicts are in the high risk category. Drug dealers, 99% of the time, just want to make money. They don't care about people. Pretending like Brazilian organized crime is helping out of love for the people is incredibly naive. Okay. When thugs and gangsters have a possibly more credible response to a disease pandemic and the means to enforce it, you probably aren't using your office the way you are supposed to. When the cartels are the ones making good decisions while the government is fucking up you really need to reevaluate your government. Give me a Pornhub slash Brazilian Gangster New World Order 2020 ticket, fuck it. Wow, I don't think I ever expected to read a headline like this. We want the best for the population. If the government does not have the capacity to fix it, organized crime will solve it. Everybody jokes about how life is on Earth too, fuckers don't realize we are Earth too. It's clear that we Brazilians can't rely on the federal government for anything right now, so these drastic measures continue being taken in many places. All Rio de Janeiro's governor cares about is shooting down people in the middle of the street, and does nothing to help the people he promised to save from the clutches of the cruel mobsters. You know you're in a fucked up country when the drug gangs give more of a shit about the community than the president. If Ayrton Senna had lived he most likely would have gotten into politics, he would have turned 60 less than a week ago. He could have been their Bernie Sanders analog. Look at me, I'm the police now. Why is the real news sounding like the onion? Can someone stop this simulation? Gangster what a funny name to call assholes drug dealers, rapists that kills anyone that posts to them, smiley face. Don't give those favelas leaders any credit, they are a bunch of thieves who destroy our country from inside.